What's up ladies and gentlemen, today we'll be talking about Tesla, and in particular the Model 3. Now Tesla's broke record after record after record from building the first electric vehicle to being the first to make a luxury electric vehicle to managing to stay alive during the 2008 depression where the company almost got sold to Google to a million other reasons as to why they managed to redesign the car as it is. They're also the first company to basically go public, well car company, to go public in like I don't even know, in the last like 100 years or something along those lines, which is absolutely ridiculous. So a lot of people really have a passion for Tesla. It's like, whoa, maybe the American car has a chance. Maybe the world will one day use American vehicles once again, since Teslas are pretty much all American. But the biggest hype is around the Model 3, which recently got announced in the last few days. Now, fun fact, they managed to get 200 thousand plus. In fact, the last time Elon Musk tweeted, he said it was around 232,000 pre-orders in the first two days. How absolutely ridiculous is that? So that goes to show that there is a huge demand for electric cars in general. And of course, it's not just the luxury people, it's everyone out there. People are sick of paying for gas. And when Elon Musk goes, you no longer have to pay a penny for gas and all our supercharger stations are 100% free to you guys. People listen. So what's so special about this car? Well, it's at a $35,000 price before tax incentives, and if you were the first maybe 50, 60,000 order, you would have gotten that $7,500 tax incentive. Now, here's a bunch of other cool little off the topic things right here, but I feel like there's a little bit more to delve deep into when it comes to this car. So I'm basically gonna tell you guys some of the behind the scenes things instead of the, you know, the typical six things that the media likes to just point out every 10 seconds, which are great. So first of all, the car is all electric. What does this mean? Well, it means almost no energy is lost. Majority, when you hit that accelerometer, basically majority of the energy that may have been lost due to gas and your the millions of pipes inside of your car and heat and all that that's not lost a good chunk of it manages to go directly into acceleration which is a good way of saying it can go zero to six zero to sixty in well six seconds and that's why tesla vehicles have been well keeping up with some supercars out there when it comes to some of the other car reviewers on youtube which is absolutely ridiculous so then, number two is that the car can drive itself. Now this is a feature that you may have to pay a little bit more for, and even then it shouldn't come up to maybe maybe 40000 or so. It's totally worth it. It basically means that when you are on the highway, the car can drive itself, and you shouldn't really use this anywhere but the highway, but it's a nice way to chillax in case you are going across country. Which leads me to point number three. So you're going all fast on the highway and you're going on a road trip. Well, guess what? you do not have to pay for gas because there are supercharger stations, enough of them, in fact Elon Musk says he's going to double the amount there are right now, but right now there's enough to go across country. And so you could technically speaking go all the way across country and enjoy the views and all that and do whatever you need to do, but you won't have to pay for gas and if the up when the update comes out, uh, you won't have to drive the vehicle, at least not too much, maybe here and there. So that's pretty epic as well. Now another cool thing that this thing has is a front and rear trunk, once again for traveling. So it can fit five adults, but it has a front and rear trunk, and they say it can fit like a surfboard or something ridiculous along those lines. And so you got a ginormous amount of space in the back, and then you have a nice amount of space in the front as well. So if you're traveling with kids or family or anyone along those lines, then you should have a pretty stellar time trying to get everything to fit inside of the vehicle and not having to take a million things and fit them into the back seats like usual. So that's pretty epic as well. Now here's another thing, it has a 215 mile range. That is a lot and yet it's kind of a not, uh, not a lot. Thankfully, there are enough supercharger stations to go and, of course, charge your vehicle. Now, Elon Musk originally promised that there would be two features at these supercharger stations. One to replace the battery on the spot in like 10 seconds or so, and another one where you basically wait a half an hour for your car to get about half its range back, which is around uh, 100 and I don't know, something miles. And so that's kind of inconvenient because the first feature was never really released. It was just an idea out there and I feel like it's something that may later on be released, but for the time being, it's simply not possible with the money that they have. 
Now, if these cars become super in demand and people just keep buying them like they do, Elon Musk actually estimates that his Gigafactory needs to produce 512,000 about every single year for like the next six or seven years or something along those lines for these vehicles to truly kick off. So that's pretty ridiculous. But anyhow, back to the main point, that particular feature where you could just take out the battery and put in a new one to have all the miles, a battery that's already charged, and pay like $20 or something along those lines, that never happened. So you do kind of have to wait at these supercharger stations, which may lead to inconvenience later, but for the time being, if you can get your hands on a Tesla, go cross country, because most of these supercharger stations are just not being used. Okay, so here's a big one, air pollution. Now I know a lot of you guys are like, A like 90% or something like that of our electricity actually comes from coal, at least in the United States, which is a really sad fact. But I feel like if Solar City, which is another project Elon Musk is working on, can really kick off and basically work the way that we want it to work, and basically the concept behind Solar City is that every single solar panel will be on roofs, on every single roof inside of the United States, and they'll be able to power everything, literally everything. And once this happens, basically your cars will be charged by the sun for free. No more electric bills, yay. No more gas bills, yay. Everything on electricity. But for the time being, will making these cars, technically speaking, pollute the environment? Yes. But at the same time, Elon Musk's new Gigafactory will be run entirely on solar panels, so at least you can think that the production of these vehicles will have much less of a carbon footprint. And finally, we have the electrical engineering as a whole. So this car is practically silent, and some of you guys might be a little ticked off at the fact that the car is more or less silent. Um, since you guys kind of want the loud, room room type of audio on your cars, I feel like there's a startup idea right here. You know, you could just go like put in your own car sounds into vehicles for the future when they're all silent. But yeah, Teslas are extremely quiet. These cars are quite literally like the quietest, quietest vehicles out there because there's no engine or anything along those lines and that may be something that is in your best interest. So aside from that, there's some of the typical uh, luxury things that you might get inside of this vehicle. So it's kind of luxury, it's kind of not. You get yourself the nice t tires, you get yourself that giant touchscreen in the middle which apparently LG will be making, and of course you get yourself the overall look of the car. And this car looks pretty darn amazing. I mean that top panoramic roof which may be a safety concern for some of you guys, but here's my idea. I feel like they made it somehow where it shatters into a million pieces, even if it's like, like I don't know, a little tiny crash. And that way you're not like, it's better that your head goes kind of flying through shards of glass. I know that sounds terrible. Rather than your head full-fledged going and hitting the glass and, well, smashing the glass with your head, I feel like they did something there to make it so the glass is just tiny enough where it'll just shower everywhere and instead of your head flying through it, that's the way I see it. So anyone who's kind of concerned about the whole panoramic glass thing at the top and how dangerous it is in case you crash into a truck, that's my concept behind that. Other than that, I mean, that glass looks really thin. The other idea I've seen out there is that people have been saying that this glass is like the bulletproof type of glass, but I feel like production, manufacturing, there is absolutely no way they managed to put that kind of technology into a $35,000 car. But who knows? It's Tesla. They've been, they made a freaking electric car that looks awesome. So who knows? Who knows what will end up happening? Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you want to go ahead and get a Tesla, go for it. I will personally attempt to get one, but it's not going to be easy for someone who is, well, me. But who knows? It should be pretty epic. If this video gets enough views, maybe we'll be able to get ourselves a Tesla, but that's probably not going to happen. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Leave a like and favorite and leave a comment telling me what you guys think of the all-new Tesla. This is going to be me logging off.